Hi, welcome back. I have been seeing some beautiful paint pour silhouette horse projects posted in some of my Facebook groups, and I really wanted to try this technique for myself. Did you know that carbon paper can still be purchased? I had no idea. It is such an old fashioned tool, but so very valuable that I'm glad I can still get it. I am using a piece of carbon paper to trace out this horse image that I found through a Google search. I will list all of my supplies in the description box below. I did put the image a little bit lower on the canvas because I wanted room for the horse's hair to have the swipe paint pour effect. After I traced the horse with the carbon paper, I traced the outline a little darker with a gray sharpie so I can see the shape in case the paint covered it too much. I pre-mixed my paints to a fluid consistency and now I am going to fill in the horse shape with the black paint. I am using a paintbrush to help spread the paint because I would like the black to stay within the shape outline if possible. The paintbrush was the easiest tool I had at hand. I am covering the sides of the canvas with the black paint where appropriate. Now it is time for the white background color. I am drizzling the white paint along the sides and the open areas for the background. Since this is still a fluid paint pour painting, it is important that I get enough paint on the canvas to work my techniques. I am using a paintbrush to get to the closer areas near the horse outline so I can preserve the integrity of my horse as much as possible. I'm sure you have noticed that I put my canvas on a spinning wheel. I did this so I can rotate my canvas as needed to help with the painting without having to pick it up and tilt the paint. Now it is time for the fun. I am adding some color to the horse's mane area. I am using my stick to drizzle it on, and then I will add a bit more black paint to the edge of this colored paint. Using a small plastic palette knife, I am using the swipe technique to pull the black paint up over the colored paint. Look how pretty those cells look already. I will keep adding some color and I am trying a different effect on top of the swipe. I am pulling the color up to see if I can get more wispy hairlines into the piece. This is a super fun project to play around with. I am adding some colored hair to the front of the ears and I'm adding some color to the side of the horse just to help break up the black a little bit. I did slightly speed up this video in order to help you see how I completed this project. It is important to take your time when you do paint this technique this piece took me about 45 minutes from start to finish, not including the time it took me to mix my fluid paints. It's really hard for me to know when to stop. I am loving this piece, but then I keep thinking, can I make it a little bit better? 
My best advice is to play around. Have some fun, take your time, and enjoy the process. You can always add a little bit more paint to any area that you don't like. Let me know in the comments what you think about this project. Have you tried creating a silhouette paint pouring piece before? I would love to see your work. I have a Facebook group called the Paint Pour Academy Community Group where you can join and upload your images. I would love to see your work. If this video has helped inspire you to create your own beautiful masterpiece, please give this a thumbs up and share it with your friends. This plastic palette knife is working beautifully. Not only has it allowed me to swipe the colors, it is letting me add some accent lines by using the tip of this palette knife. I do rec recommend you have a small variety of palette knives in your collection. This will help you achieve some beautiful and original effects in your masterpieces. To help highlight the hairline, I did pull my palette knife down the hairline to try to see if the color would fill in a little better and take shape. I am also mixing a little bit of the white into the face of the horse to see if I can add some highlights. I am also trying to clean up the edges of the horse just a little bit. Please give this video a thumbs up to let me know that this video has helped you. Thank you for painting with me and I'll see you in the next video.